I mean, surprisingly, he tolerated the pushing. So, you know, that cord was around his neck twice and tight. You made it here. You are here on Earth. Go ahead. Go ahead, say it. What you gonna say? What is it? <laughs> what you gonna say? What you gonna say? You try to get it out? What you wanna say? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? You said a little bit. Oh, there you go. Now you just got to form your words. Go ahead. You're almost there. You can talk early. Go ahead. <laughs> you can talk early. Go ahead. Daddy will listen. Daddy will listen. Three stacks. Three stacks. Oh, bug out. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, family? We are back with another video. As you saw in the video prior to this one, not last week, but the video y'all just watched. Three stacks. Hoy the third, who's named after myself, and then my dad is, is the first. I'm the second. He's the third. He is the one who made us parents. Man, you think about being parents, but when it actually happens, it's like we kept looking at ourselves and kept we saying. We still do it. We're still like, we have kids. Like, we have whole children. That's what we kept saying. We kept saying, we got a, a whole baby. Like, when he was a baby, it was like, we have a whole baby. Like. The real deal. Not that there could be a half a baby, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we we were just a, like disbelief. Like, you you dream of getting married and having children, and you're just like, we have a whole baby. Like, we just kept you know thanking God for that, for that opportunity. So, that's what we call him. Three Stacks is the one who made us parents. I'm in the window now, giving yep. us light. <laughs> yep, he giving us a little extra light. Praise God. So. We didn't have children initially. We were married in 2010, which we told y'all about. We didn't have three stacks until 2018. So people were wondering where the babies were, but we were chilling. Yeah. We were just having a good time. One of the main reasons we didn't have children is we were trying to wait for the quote unquote right moment, but not really. We were really trusting God. We didn't have a place of our own at the time. We stayed uh, with my mom for years. Shout out to my mom for opening her doors and allowing us to stay with her, you know, for years. And we stayed with my mom for years. And that was one of the reasons we didn't want to have a, ch a child is because we wanted to at least, you know what I'm saying, have a, a place of our own where they can, you know, grow Space. up. Yep, space. We did not have a lot of space. Yeah, because we were living in two rooms <clears throat> at my mom's house, um, which was my room when I grew up, but I also had an, a back room. So we were living in those two rooms 
uh, for the majority, actually the majority of our marriage up until 2019. Um, we, we wanted to move out. We were planning to move out. Trust us. We every had every single time, every single time. <laughs> yep. Every single time some stuff would, would come up. What? Uh, we would have to pay for something, but, but God, you know, ended up telling us that we were there for a reason. He told us what we were there for that reason for. And then once that reason was up, once we fully walked in obedience, then we ended up getting a prophetic word that somebody was going to give us a house. So, you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, how excited you are when you got when we received those prophetic words? So, the end of 2017, I was pretty much over it. I was like, I'm moving to the hood with the abandoned houses over there. I was out of here. <laughs> I just needed space, and I was ready. And we came back from um, Christmas in Canada, and... I found out that I was pregnant. So then the whole hood idea went out the window because I'm not about to bring a baby into that. So we were just patient and we didn't announce anything yet. And on February, it was February 4th of 2018 when um, we got the prophetic word that we were going to get a house. And it was two different people within five minutes of each other at church they were nowhere near each other when the t when the when they each said it so one person said it and we were like oh praise god and then the next person came and they said basically the exact same thing and they just told us like you need to drive through neighborhoods pray you know if you see houses you like pray confess over your situation god is gonna bless you with a house and so we didn't know how when whatever whatever but i was like okay i'm sitting there waiting like it's going to happen soon. No. We had the baby yeah. in September. Still didn't have the house. So I'm like, okay. Space is limited. We need it. We need this house. But I'm like, okay, God. Okay. <laughs> and then we ended up getting the house right before. We had it. Technically, we had it before his first birthday. But it wasn't available for us to move into until after. So the month after his birthday, his first birthday, that's when we moved in. So, yeah, we've been in, in our house for a little over a year now, but that word came to pass. God did the supernatural like he said he would. But that, that time that we were still at my mom's house, it allowed my mom to be able to, you know, spend a lot of time with Three Stacks. Mm -hmm. So that, that was good. Man, Three Stacks was our first road dog. He was with us everywhere. First day in the cart by yourself, no car seat. Getting to be a big boy. What you doing, son? You going for a stroll with your mom? You going for a stroll? <laughs> you going for a stroll? Got to tuck your pacifier in. We don't want that gross stuff. You strolling, son? 
Son, three stacks. Three stacks. Three stacks. Three stacks. She doing three stacks. Strolling. First time in a in a buggy or a cart without your car seat. Three Stacks was at the movies with us when he was two months. two months. I'll never forget this story. We were at the movies. It was, we were going to see, uh, it was, no, Godzilla. Godzilla had just came out in the last one, the latest one, of course. And so he, this guy's looking at us with the side eye, like, they brought their baby sure to the did, movie. Sure did, sir. And they're like, they brought their baby to the movie. And I can I can feel him and I can sense what he's hinting at because three steps we got the stroller everything we got a, we got a stroller that fold down like a little, suitcase his little baby earphones we got a we got a stroller that fold down like a suitcase it's amazing so carry the suitcase we all sitting all the way up at the back my man's like he looking at us so I'm like I'm like he good he like he look at me like I'm like yeah I, I know what you're thinking I'm like he good. I'm like, he's probably seeing, at this point, three stacks is probably eight months. I'm like, he's probably seeing 35 movies from the time he was two months to eight months. The guy was like, 35 movies? <laughs> he said, I haven't seen that many movies in my lifetime. <laughs> I said, he good. And then watch, as soon as the, the previews and everything started, he was locked in. Like, he already <laughs> knew. He was he was with us. We, we huge movie buffs. So he was with us. He loved it. Yeah, this this whole pandemic ruined that because he hasn't been to the movies in when's the last time we went to the movies? February? No, Bad Boys, January. January. Bad Man, Boys. It's even longer. Yeah. Yeah, so Bad that's Boys. the last movie we've been to. Got a little difficult when he started walking and stuff yeah. because he just wanted to get up and go. Um so I missed a lot of movies, but I would just walk him around. He would get tired and go to sleep, but yeah, he went everywhere with us. Still will. That was our they'll road both, they'll dog. They'll both be wherever we go. Yeah, he don't sit down now in the movie. So, oh, no. uh, the only thing about this dumb pandemic is Dominic didn't get the opportunity to have the same, mm -hmm. the same chance or opportunity as three stacks as yeah. three stacks had to go to the movies. And he hasn't even been to church yet. He hasn't even been to church yet. <laughs> uh, so many places he has never been. Um, other than like his hospital, I mean his doctor visits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But Dominic, yeah, he's missing out on a whole bunch. At least he won't remember it though. Yeah, but I mean, you know how we have like all the pictures and stuff and videos which they saw. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some stuff. But Three Stacks was with us everywhere. Other people's houses for party. Like he was just with us all the time. Yeah. So he he didn't get that opportunity. But praise God, you know we believe in God that we'll have the opportunity to create. Some more memories, um, believing that this this virus will be gone soon in Jesus' name or somehow whatever God wants to do. We just believing that it. I'm believing that it just dissipates. To be honest, it just disappears. They be like, oh, there's no, more, there's no more signs of it. I'm believing God. Yeah. That's what I'm believing God for. 2021 is going to be better. It has to be. Shoot, it can happen even before that if God wants to move even before that. You know, praise God. But the hospital scare. Mm -mm. I don't like it. Jeff, man, 
See, it's time to go home. See, I've been here long enough. Seven days is a long time. Man, as y'all saw, that was rough. Eight days in the hospital. Oh, I was so mad. My mom was mad. We, it was an experience that we'll never forget. It was stressful. It was trying. It was everything you could imagine. But we we just trusted God. <laughs> he talking about imagine in the background. <laughs> We just trusted God through it all, but that does not mean that it was not difficult, especially for, for me to see my son laying there and it's nothing you can physically do. Only thing you can do is pray and just trust God. It's nothing you can physically do. If you could swap spots with, with him, you would, but he was going through it and it was just, man, the worst. It, was, it was rough. I remember what I was wearing. I'll never forget, I had just left the barbershop. She called me, and you told me, I'll let you say that part with you. I remember you called me. Oh, yeah, because he wasn't, there wasn't enough diapers, wet diapers. Yeah. I'm like, he's not peeing like he's supposed to be peeing. It's weird. And he had a dry diaper for the longest. I'm like, this isn't right. He's he's fussy. He's, you know, crying a lot. And so I called him, like, I think we should take him to the hospital and see if something is wrong. I think maybe a UTI or something like that. Um, so we took him to the hospital. He came from, before he went to work, he was supposed to be going to work from the barbershop. Yeah. He just came home, picked me up. Actually, I had to meet with Bishop, too. Remember, oh, that yeah, was before we even to, became youth had pastors to yeah. <laughs> and young adult pastors. Man, so, had yeah. to cancel it because I, I still have my work clothes on. I apologize. I didn't mean to cut you off. I had my work clothes on. I'll never forget what I had on. I had on my green ship shirt. I had my those same green. My I used to wear compression clothes up under my um, my clothes always, like especially if I was at work or something like that, help keep my body cool. I had a green compression shirt and a green compression pants that I was wearing under my my clothes. I'll never forget. So even to this day, when I see that green compression top and pants, I have to. Not, you know what I'm saying, let it be, you know, rule over me to be like, okay, you know, this is what I had, like this bad luck or something like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I see it and I have to, you know, remind myself, okay, no such thing as luck. So don't even hold on to the fact that this is the outfit that you were wearing when you, you know what I'm saying, took your son to the hospital that day. Now you should look at it as a victory. Yeah. Because... It was an experience, though. That seven days, and uh, you remember how mad I was when they that iron drip and they, had to put, they put a the tube down his nose, which they saw in that to do yeah the iron and uh, when he got that iron, he swelled so bad. I was like, this needs to get out now. I, he guess, doesn't like it. Take it out. <laughs> guess, guess what I told him though? I told him. I said, look, <laughs> y'all better get this thing out of his nose. And, and and quickly, because guess what? If my mom, she saved, sanctified, filled the Holy Ghost now, but she was even going through it. She was so mad when he was when he was going through it. She wasn't there when they did that. She, she wasn't out. there. She would have flipped out. I'm talking about a fight would have probably broke out in the hospital, Police and she would have probably whooped on everybody if she would have saw how puffy his face got. I said, "Look, y'all better get this thing out his nose." I was mad. I was trying to say, "Cool." I had to leave out the room. Remember. I kept having to leave out the room because I felt like I was about to snap. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just being honest, I felt like I was about to snap to hear him hollering like that and screaming like that and, and this stuff that they were doing. Like They uh, just, they just honestly, <laughs> they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. I told them from the beginning, can you get an allergy uh, specialist in here to see him? Because I believe he has allergies what? because he was breastfed. I already went dairy-free. But I ended up finding out that some of the stuff that I was eating um, would it did have dairy, but it would say it was dairy free, but it wasn't. It was it slipped in there. So I knew he was allergic to dairy. I knew it, but we didn't know that it was as bad as it was until we actually did see an allergy specialist. But if they would have brought an allergy specialist in there, we would have known this from jump. But they just wanted to keep racking up money. Well, Dominique woke up 
He wanted to be in his brother's video, I guess. <laughs> but we want to give a special shout out to everyone who prayed for us when we were going through that ordeal in the hospital with three stacks. Her mom flew from Nova Scotia, hopped on a plane and came from Nova Scotia to be here with us, you know, to, to, to support us, you know, in any way that we need it. She was, it was just amazing. Um, she made sure we have food to eat because we definitely didn't plan on staying in the hospital for no dang on eight days. She made sure we have food to eat. My mom supported us. My family supported us. Uh, my auntie Lynn, uncle Kevin, I'm trying to think of everybody. Oh, our, our sister Tia, she supported us. Naomi, man, Naomi supported us. Rest in peace to our sister, Naomi. Um, Naomi supported us. My bishop, our bishop, Bishop C.J. Andre, Pastor Danielle, they supported us. Minister Johnny, it was so many people that reached out to us and, and was praying for us. We kept it very private mm -hmm. initially because, um, for one, we didn't expect to go to the hospital and spend that much time there, to be honest. Um, secondly, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we just kept it private. We didn't post anything until after the uh, he, he came home. On, from the hospital, then we posted some. We posted a post, but quick testimony. We know it was an attack of the enemy. For one, on the way it went down, they couldn't figure out what was going on with them. We ended up doing that. But while I was there, I have sleep apnea. So because we weren't planning on being there or anticipate being there that long, I never bought my CPAP machine to the hospital, and so. I was sleeping at night and I would try to, you know, sleep on my on my side. If anybody knows anything about sleep apnea, it's basically your muscles relax too much in your in your neck, you know, and closes off your airways. So I was trying to sleep on my side so that it wouldn't be so much pressure and I could still have, you know, still be able to breathe instead of laying on my back and you know, and my neck neck collapsing my airways. But I had a dream while I was there in the hospital. And, you know, I was, I was getting these accolades and, and you know, I was rising up in, in, a, in a work field. I was working at something that was like a hybrid of like a Target or Foot Locker. And I was being acknowledged for like award after award after award. And then I remember I was like, you know, I'm going to get out of here. I'm about to go home. And I remember walking home and I was walking down this pathway and this man came and beside me. And then he like, he like, but well, he was like crawling. His legs wasn't working. And so his legs wasn't working and he was like, almost like slithering like a snake. And so when he was moving, he like cut my path off and I just kept like sliding over, sliding over, sliding over until I couldn't walk no more. Then I like tripped over him. Then I was laying on the ground and I was just looking up at the sky and the man, that man in the dream climbed on top of me. And he was like, looking me straight in my face. And I was like, like, man, you better get up off of me. And I was like, you know what? Let me get up. Well, that's what happened. I was like, well, let me get up because I was just laying on the ground. I was like, let me get up. And when I, when I tried to get up, that's when the man got on top and he was like holding me down. And I was like, man, you better get up off of me. And Jasmine woke me up out of my sleep. And she was like, you all right, babe? And she was like, I wasn't breathing. So thank God she was up at the time because she woke me up because I wasn't breathing and not knowing that I was you know, going through this dream and I'm having this dream. I'm not breathing while I'm going through it. So it was crazy that I wasn't breathing. It was like the enemy was trying to attack my son and myself. But thank God, you know, that Jasmine was was woke and she woke me up because that could have went south very quickly. The fact that I wasn't breathing and I didn't even know it. So then, yeah, you had your mom bring, asked your mom to bring your machine. Yeah. Because, yeah. The peace of mind you just need the peace of mind of having that oh, oh, drop the mushroom. mushroom so we definitely wanted to give a special shout out because we, we we couldn't have made that through that that whole ordeal alone thank you so much for everybody supported us and, and what you talk about thank you so much for everybody who supported us through that we couldn't have done it without you any names i missed i do apologize and thank you so much from the bottom of our heart
Hey! Hey, Paisan! Hey, put your glasses on one more time. What's the little noise you do? <laughs> you can fly, you can fight, and you can. So what we learned from that hospital visit, finally, we ended up finding out that Three Stack does have allergies. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the three stacks has quite a few allergies. In fact, as you saw in the video, his was it affected his skin and how his skin like he really he had real bad eczema. I'm talking about from face all the way down. He was covered. Um, his chest, his back. Well, his back was hives. Yep. I ended up figuring it out because he never like his skin would get raw on his cheeks and his his um, bends of his elbows and his arms right here and then he had one spot on his chest on his on his little nipple and then a little spot on his belly but then his back would never it was never raw it was just really red and um, blotchy so I figured out that was hives and he'd have the hives around his stomach area and chest too because they never it never really like broke out or anything like that it was just red um, and he had it on his behind his knees he was miserable though. He was miserable. You could tell he was miserable. Like yeah, he went smiling. from this smiling baby. I don't know if you see uh, Dominic, if you see our, you know our stuff on Facebook or how Dominic is. Three sacks was the same way until about three months. Um, that's when the, the, he started flaring up with the eczema, and we didn't know. Like you said, so from three months to six months, we didn't know what it was when we went to that doctor. They never sent the allergies, but then they that got us on a process of finding out all of his allergies, which comes to find out he has dairy allergy, egg allergy, 
sesame seed allergy. Uh, we might as well say all nut allergies because it's both tree and, and, and um, what's the other one? Peanut. And peanut allergy. And then coconut. coconut. All five of those. Those are all five of his allergies. And he used to literally, I would put coconut oil on his skin. And it didn't, it didn't make his skin do anything. But it would actually help his skin. And then he would literally dip his little fingers in there and taste it. But it's like he's allergic to it and you don't even know. So it's like now that we have Dominic, we are definitely going to see an allergy doctor before I start giving him food because I'm not about to go through that again and my kid is not about to go through that again. Yeah, he is miserable from, I would probably say, three months until about eight months. No, he started clearing up really soon after because I know we've we seen the dermatologist in May of that year. But yeah, remember he was he six months. He was six months, um, two days after he got out of the hospital. Yeah. May would have been eight months. So, yeah, May would have been eight months. And shout out to Doctor yeah. Doctor uh, Schrader. 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 Doctor Schrader. Doctor Schrader. He was good. I said that wrong the first time. If you watch this, Doctor Schrader, I apologize. <laughs> Doctor Schrader was amazing. He was the first doctor. I, I mean, y'all don't know, but I don't like hospitals. I don't like going to hospitals. I've gotten wisdom now. I'll go. I'll go now, you know, especially get myself checked out. You know, you as with wisdom, you know, you grow and you, you grow with wisdom and you learn certain things. So now I, I look at the hospital different. If I have to go, I'll go. I'm not one of those people now that'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll just get over it. I'm not going. No, I'm going to go get it checked out if I need if I need to get it checked out or especially if God tell me to go get it checked out. But Dr. Schwader was amazing. Had the opportunity to meet him. I'm grateful for him. He told us what to do. And he was like, so we were like, how long is it going to take to clear up? He was like, no, not weeks. He said, days. Do what I'm telling you to do. It's going to clear up in days. And when I tell you not even 12 hours went by and his skin had already started clearing up. So praise God for Dr. Schwader. I'm telling you. Schwader. So, oh, little tidbit to y'all. If y'all need to go to the doctor or if you need to get something checked out, don't be like how I was growing up. Go get checked out. You know what I'm saying? Don't harbor and hold on to stuff because you never know. You got a potential to save your life or anything or your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Tell them to go. You know what I'm saying? Go to the doctor. Yeah, I get it. The, the, the waits are long. It can be, you know, a strenuous experience, but you rather know. That way you can, you know what I'm saying, get better. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, overall... Three Stacks is an amazing yeah. child. Yes, yeah. yeah, son. Oh, you got socks. He Thank got you. socks. Those are brother's socks. Thank you. Three Stacks is an amazing <laughs> child. We definitely praise God for him. We're, we're grateful. We consider it an honor and a privilege to be his parents. You know, we just believe in God that we can be stewards over, over him and Dominic, you know, that are pleasing in God's eyes. But Three Stacks loves to praise. <laughs>
Three Stacks also loves his ABCs, numbers, and shapes. All day. 24-7. Letters. Where you going? Son, how do you have your numbers and your letters mixed up? Is that a number four right there? No attention. No, he can't. He's playing his way. You got to play his way. When I say our house is... <laughs> oh, my gosh. The floor is filled with letters and numbers all day. I'm talking about, well, he don't ask for shapes too much, but he'll still see certain stuff. And he'll be like, oh, no, rectangle. He try to say rectangle. It's funny how you say rectangle. He could say circle. He could say triangle. But rectangle is a little longer word. But it's funny hearing him trying to say it. Three stacks. You got a rectangle? He's yeah, not he gonna, not, he's not going to answer. He in his own world. He's not going to answer us right now. So he that's just some of the things that, that three stacks is about. You want to add anything? Oh, she said he likes to go on walks. Yeah, he loves to walk. Like, we'll just go outside and he'll walk. We, we've really just went on the block a little bit once it started getting colder. Um, he'll walk down the block to the next street, and then we turn around and we come back this way, and we'll go down to this corner of our block, and he'll come back. And he, he just, I don't know, he just loves to walk, and he'll try to cut me off. I'm like, stay on your side. You need help? And then... Um, one other thing. Oh, the last time we went walking the other day, someone's little dog got out, and uh, it was probably like a little Yorkie or something like that, and there you go. started sniffing him, so he's like looking at it, and then the dog starts jumping at his little hands, and he starts cracking up. Dog's about to knock him over. He's cracking up in the street. The lady's trying to get her dog back. The dog was coming with us. <laughs> But that's it. That's all we got for today's video. We felt the need that you guys had the opportunity to meet some of us. I mean, meet us the first video. Hear some of our story. We got we got stories to tell y'all. Testimonies. Everything. Mm -hmm. How God saw, saw us through. How we used to we used to have date days. Oh, we caught the bus. Man. Catching yeah, two buses to the movies. We used to have date days. Spend the day at the movies. Spend the day at the movies because it don't make sense to catch the bus see one movie. Might as well spend the day at the movies. And yes, we paid for every single movie. Mm -hmm. I am the planner out of us two. So I got I got I was a beast at it. I got <laughs> I got pretty good at it where I could schedule an entire day at the movies. Breaks for when we go to have lunch or dinner. And be able to be back in the theater to see our movies. But the most movies we ever seen in one day is five. Yeah, we pulled it off. We loved the um, the theater would do, what is that, $5 Tuesdays or whatever? See, I have figured out which was the best location for quantity, you know, cheapest price. Best location for, you know, the uh, quality. The quality. But. This video is not about us. That's another video. We'll have to <laughs> fill y'all in some other time. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. They got it now where you got to hit the notification bell. You can slide it up to where you want to be notified for all our videos. Please slide it up. So when you hit the notification bell, it's going to ask you, do you want to be you know, notified for some videos, no videos, or all videos? Go up to that top and hit all videos for us, please. And thank you. We still don't know what to call you guys yet, so we're we're still we're still waiting to see, waiting on some more feedback. Would you guys meet us in the comments? <laughs> Such a weirdo. I'll just play with y'all, but please subscribe to the channel. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoy the opportunity to I meet. Hope, I Go hope ahead. I talked loud enough. I tried really hard to talk really loud. Did I do it? I hope you did. We're I gonna find out. To, I have to physically yell for you to. Get, I don't know. I feel really loud to myself. <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, the opportunity to meet three stacks. Oh, one other thing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are going to upload videos every Sunday and every holiday, if we can. That's the goal. The goal is every Sunday and every holiday. So 
upcoming week, because this is December 20th, there will be two videos coming at you next week. Two of them. We got Christmas video, and we got next Sunday video. Next Sunday, you guys will have the opportunity to hear about Dominic Orion Monk. Dom. All right, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We love you guys. Hey, and we out. See ya.